Can the bigger 12.7-inch or P12 crush the most likely best affordable 11-inch tablet on the market? Let's find out. The Lenovo Tab P12 features a sleek metal unibody design that looks and feels premium. It is lightweight, weighing only 615 grams, and impressively thin at just 6.9 millimeters. It has a volume rocker and power button on the left side, which also doubles as an inbuilt fingerprint sensor. On the other side, it has a USB-C 2.0 port and a micro SD card slot that can expand the storage up to 1 terabyte. The tablet also has loud quad speakers from JBL with Dolby Atmosphere. In comparison, the Xiaomi Pad 6 is made of aluminium material, which feels and looks premium. It weighs only 490 grams making it the lighter tablet of the two. Unfortunately, it does lack a fingerprint sensor and micro SD card slot, but it still has quad speakers with Dolby Atmos support and a better USB-C 3.0 port for faster data transfer and it also supports video out there for you can connect the Pad 6 to an external monitor. Both companies provide a wall adapter and a USB-C charging cable with major differences being the Pad 6 has a 33 watt wall adapter included in Lenovo also includes a stylus and an extra tip for the stylus. Both tablets are very reasonably priced, while for the 8GB RAM and 128GB storage of the Pad 6 was priced at $334 and for the P12 $339, if interested links will be in the description. Lenovo Tab P12 features a 12.7-inch IPS LCD display with a resolution of 2,944 by 1840 pixels. The display is bright, clear, and perfect for watching movies, TV shows, and playing games. It has a new adaptive color to environment feature that adjusts the color temperature based on the surroundings, ensuring a comfortable viewing experience. Although the display is only 60 Hz, it still offers great value for its price. The brightness can go up to 400 nits, making it suitable for indoor use. It is also Widevine L1 certified, allowing for full HD playback on Netflix and 4K on YouTube, just like on the Pad 6. The Xiaomi Pad 6 has an 11-inch IPS LCD display with a resolution of 1800 by 2880 pixels. It supports a 144Hz refresh rate for smooth scrolling and animations. With a max brightness of 550 nits, it's plenty bright for indoor use. This display is HDR10 Plus certified with Dolby Vision support, without a doubt videos will look better on the Pad 6. The Lenovo Tab P12 has an 8-megapixel rear camera with a flash and a 13-megapixel front-facing camera. The rear camera is decent for taking photos, while the front-facing camera is perfect for video calls and can film up to 4K quality. The Xiaomi Pad 6, on the other hand, has a single 13-megapixel rear camera and an 8-megapixel front-facing camera with a focus frame feature which when moving the camera will follow you to keep you in the center of the frame just like auto-framing on Samsung's higher-end tablets. The camera setup on both tablets should suffice for casual photography needs. Has this video been helpful to you? If so, L would appreciate it if you hit the like button, also consider subscribing, your support means a lot. Thank you for clicking the like button. The Lenovo Tab P12 runs on Android 13 and comes with a promise of two years of Android updates and four years of security updates. It offers features like Lenovo Freestyle, which allows you to use the tablet as an external screen for your laptop, and App Streaming, which lets you directly use Android apps on a PC using the tablet or phone. It also has Lenovo Free Drop, which makes file sharing between devices effortless. The Xiaomi Pad 6 runs on Android 13 with MIUI 14, a custom version of Android optimized for tablets. It offers it offers features like split-screen multitasking, a floating window mode, and smartphone link, which allows you to use your phone on the tablet. It was promised three years of security updates. P12 is powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 7050 processor, with options for 4, 6, or 8 GB of RAM and 128 or 256 GB of storage. It performs admirably in Geekbench tests scoring 966 for single-core and 2428 for multi-core. And the 2395 for GPU score, this are above-average scores. The Xiaomi Pad 6 is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 870 processor and can be purchased with 6 or 8 GB of RAM. With scores such as 1304 for single core, 3407 for multiple core, and 3277 GPU score in Geekbench tests, it's very obvious it can handle demanding tasks with ease. The Lenovo Tab P12 packs a 10,200 mAh battery with up to 30 watt fast charging. 
The battery life is decent, lasting around 8 hours with moderate use, but heavy usage will drain it more quickly. However, with fast charging, the tablet can be fully charged in about 4 hours. The Xiaomi Pad 6, on the other hand, has a large 8840 mAh battery that provides excellent battery life. It can easily last for 7 hours with heavy use and can be fully recharged in 2 hours with 33 watt charging. If we compare the two, the Lenovo Tab P12 is offering a large 12.7-inch 3K resolution, fingerprint sensor, micro SD card slot, a free stylus, the ability to receive Android updates for at least two years along with four years of security updates, and all at an affordable price. The Xiaomi Pad 6, on the other hand, offers a better and brighter display with a higher refresh rate, a powerful processor, excellent battery life, faster charging speed and video out is supported. Adding salt to the wound, it's also very affordable. Although it does lack a fingerprint sensor, micro SD card slot, the stylus is not included and its display is much smaller. It's obvious side by side the Pad 6 is the victor, but take nothing away from the P12, it may not be the best in some categories, but it's definitely above average. Ultimately the decision on which to purchase rests on your shoulders, I would advise you to take a close look at the weaknesses of the two tablets for example, the Pad 6 has no micro SD card expansion, if that's not a bother then go for the Pad 6 which I'll strongly recommend if you don't care about a larger display on the P12. They will be links in the description to purchase this tablets, if this video was helpful even a little please leave a like and subscribe for more content, thank you so much for watching.